Hello all, King Joe here with a major unboxing video. Got a lot of stuff in the mail today. Uh, we'll start off with this box. It came from Eagle Moss. I uh, joined their Star Trek official Starship collections. So I got, here's the binder. NCC 1701, which I'll show these a little bit closer. 1701D, 1701 so I got actually number one and number two of the Starship collection, which eventually I'm going to have a shelf, shelf and I'm going to put all, all of all these displayed behind plexiglass on a shelf system somewhere down here in the What I do with my uh, Batman Eagle Moss binder. Now, let's open this box here. What the hell? I gotta send this back. She's beheaded. Oh. They told me the box was damaged. She doesn't have a freaking head. I didn't give a crap about the box. Shoppers. Big Barda. And this. Vixen. This is actually stuff my mother-in-law got me for Christmas, but I couldn't pass up the deal. I had to get it now, so these are gonna actually won't get taken out until Christmas time. Huntress. And back woman. Let me just that woman. It's back as this gets put away for. December 25th. At least I know I got it. Huntress. Which is sort of funny because now out of this whole series, according to this list on the back of Vixen, I only need for the Series 2 figures, I need Mirror, Phantom Lady, and Wonder Woman, and I have all the Series 2 figures, so I need three out of the one series. Here's the Huntress, property of Gotham Shipyard.
And here's what Vixen looks like. Big Bart is the only one out of this lot that's actually going to go in my cabinet now. I still have one Women of DC Universe coming. I have the one Zatanna coming. And here is Big Barda holding Mr. Miracle's cape. Uh, here's the, what, how the Eagle Moss things come in. See the Enterprise 1D. And here is the movie one. Well, had to go throw new batteries in the camcorder. Look at how the... I never realized when I... I just went on my eBay and I sent this guy a message just now. I never bothered reading it because on the headliner he had new in box store return. So I never bothered reading the item description. Bad on me. In the item description he has wrote down that the, the head was broken and glued. Well, it ain't new in box then. If the figure's defective, it ain't freaking a new figure. I sent the guy because I want my money back. This figure's junk. When I look at it, when I open this and I, that's what I seen at Decapitated Wonder Woman. I paid thirty some dollars for this altogether. I'm getting my money back. If I have to open up a case and get, you know, boom. Now it's the the Star Trek. Because these are gonna be displayed on a on a shelf I'm gonna build. Probably gonna display these and the Batman automobilias. Right here is, oh boy, these are very, very hard to get off of him. I thought these would be made out of this actually here is actually plastic. I thought these would be totally metal. They're not. But at least it says here USS Enterprise NC on the base on the bottom. And I guess you shove that like that in there. Oh, and I guess if you get the light, yeah, if you look at the light at a certain angle, the nacelles glow. So they ain't bad. Here's one of them. Put all this together. Save the boxes. Series guide. Number one, number two. What is going to be? Number five is going to be the Romulan Warbird. Let me do the NCC 1701D. Wow. They don't want to come out. <laughs> they don't want to come out whatsoever.
701D. Probably should I put it this way? No, it probably has to go this way. Can I stick it this way? No. I'll figure this out. Nope, I guess it does have to go this way. Oh, it's supposed to hook up here. That's how it shows it on the thing, but it doesn't want to sit here. It shows it's sitting on the... If you look at it here, it shows these things prongs right there. not. Well, it's funny because they fit that way and it fits this way. I guess I'm going to have to stick it this way. It's not the way it shows it on the diagram. Oh, there it goes. Well, uh, figured it out. Well, same thing with this. This goes a different way. There. That's better. So I have the first two ships in the series and I got a the binder to do damn last night I sliced my finger up oh, pretty good put these in the curio cabinet until I get my shelf built.
top and bottom tabs. Number one. Okay, number one is in. I gotta get number two in here. Star Trek motion picture movie. That's why that one went so good, because that wasn't in the first one, it was in the second one. One and two are in the binder. So I already have the first two books of Star Trek in their binder. Open it up. There's NCC 0701D. NCC 0701. And I have the official collector's magazine here. And there's all, oh yeah, my last unboxing.
this one should not be a, a major problem here. Guy puts tabs on his tape. That's a good thing. The Monster Squad poster. Because that chiller for the five guys who are the monsters in the show are going to be there. So this poster is going with me to chiller. Looking forward to them signing this. Put it back in the tube. Put the lid back on. And that does it for this edition of King Joe's Collectibles. And as always, I thank you guys for viewing and subscribing.